yeah so we were talking about liquid exerts pressure because of its height okay if h differs height differs or depth you can also say if height differs then pressure will also be different right suppose we have we know that solid particles or solid objects exerts pressure because of its mass gaseous particles exerts pressure because of collision right i've discussed all these things now suppose you have a tube okay in which uh, you know any uh, liquid that is present generally we take mercury for the uh, you know for the measurement of pressure so suppose we have a column here in which any liquid is present of certain density right so liquid that is present here it exerts pressure okay so because of the weight of the liquid we have a mass component which acts in downward direction mg and in upward direction we have pressure because of atmospheric so that is p atm into a where a is the cross sectional area of this tube right pressure into area that is the force it is a cross sectional area okay so at equilibrium what we can write at equilibrium we can write this force equals to this force so p of atmospheric into the area of cross section is equals to mass of the liquid in into the gravitational acceleration if this liquid is of density v, rho right rho is the density and volume is v we are assuming for the liquid so area is equals to what we can write tell me atmospheric pressure is equals to into area let it be here only fine mass of the liquid is nothing but what is nothing but density into volume of the liquid into the gravitational acceleration as it is volume is nothing but it is rho area right into the height of the liquid this is h a is the cross sectional area again so this area into height is nothing but the volume so volume is nothing but area into h gravitational acceleration is z this is p atmospheric into the area of the column so this a and this a will get cancelled and hence the relation that we get here is p atmospheric is equals to h rho g or rho g h it is in right so you see the pressure for any liquid is directly proportional to its height okay that's why as you go deeper into the sea right as you go deeper into the sea the pressure increases because the liquid column the height of the liquid column is increasing right above you suppose this point is this point is a we have here this point is b we have here and this point is c we have here height is increasing right this is the height of a this is the height of b and this is the height of c we have here above the point c so we can say the pressure at c because h is more is greater than the pressure at b is greater than the pressure at a but at the same height the pressure would be same because h is same over there
Understood? Yes, guys, respond. Clear, no? P is equal to H rod D. Yeah. Now you see two things here. Yeah, so we have a tube here. This is mercury present in this. So when you place a tube like this with open and down, so tell me here, at this point, understand it carefully. At this point, what is the pressure? At this level? Atmospheric pressure? Okay. So here we have P atm. Here also we have atmospheric pressure. Here also we have atmospheric pressure. And since you place the tube like this, so this column is also filled up with Hg. Right? So whatever height we have here, right, that is the height of the liquid and there is no gas present here, right? It is empty. Either it is completely filled with the Hg or it is empty. There is no gas present over here. Okay? So at this point, the pressure because of this height of mercury is what? We can say pressure at A is equals to, we can write rho of Hg, G into H, isn't it? Yes. Correct. Can we say that this relation is right? Okay, and this pressure we know, PA is what? P atmospheric? Yeah, this is equals to rho Hg, G into H, right? Density of mercury, if you know, you can find out the pressure here, the height here, that is rho hg into g and this height is observed to be 76 centimeter hence we say 76 centimeter of hg is equals to one atmospheric pressure correct Right. So this is the concept of barometer we have. With the help of the height of the Hg liquid, we can find out the pressure. Now I am taking a different condition here. The condition is, uh, you know, we have uh, a liquid present that is Hg only. And similarly, one tube is inverted with open and down, inverted like this. But this tube is filled with a gas over here. Right, and here we have mercury column. And this is suppose any gas. So at this point again, the pressure is P atm. But at this point, if I ask you, what is the pressure at this point B? Pressure at B is equals to 
the pressure of hg column because we have hg column here plus the pressure of the gas this is the pressure we have isn't it right okay so this is the case of if you find out the pressure with respect to liquid hg over here you won't get the correct pressure here because of this gas also we have some more pressure so this is a case of faulty barometer we call it as you won't get the correct measurement of pressure here because of hg right hence it is a faulty barometer case we have however you need to find out you need to find out uh the formula of p is equals to h rho g only in this question okay right so you have to keep this in mind that the pressure exerted by pressure exerted by seventy six centimeter of hg is equals to one atmospheric okay so by with seventy six centimeter of hg suppose for hg i'll write down two set of data here just try to understand this one for mercury and for any other liquid any other liquid right whose density is rho right height uh, is h i am assuming and g is the constant p so for hg we'll have you know a certain pressure rho is the density of hg i am assuming for this also it is suppose h i'll write down row 1 row 2 then it would be better or height of hg right so if the two liquid liquid this one or hg if the pressure exerted by hg and the pressure exerted by the given liquid is equal right then we must have a relation between the height of hg and the height of this liquid okay so what we can write here pressure of hg is equals rho of hg into height of hg is equals to rho of this liquid into the height of this liquid correct okay right so this relation also holds true for this you can find out the height of with the help of the density of the liquid you can find out what height of a given liquid gives pressure equals to the atmospheric pressure understood based on this you see this question here there are different different kinds of question possible suppose we have a tube with open end up right we have open end up and here we have liquid column present that is 15 cm of hg we have here suppose and here we have some gas present this gas will exert some pressure p of gas and here since the end is open so it is p of atmospheric okay so because of this liquid column 
also the gas, the, the, the liquid column exerts pressure also in downward direction. P of Hg in downward direction. So if you balance the pressure here, then what we can write? Pressure of gas is equals to the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of the Hg column. Can we say that? Right? We need to find out the pressure of gas here. Did you understand this? Yeah, is it correct? Total pressure in upward direction equals to the total pressure in downward direction. That is it. So this is equals to atmospheric pressure we can write because it is given in centimeter here. So PATM is 76 centimeter plus PHG is 15 centimeter. So pressure in terms of height we are calculating the answer is pressure of gas is 19 centimeter 91 centimeter of hg yes did you understand this tell me guys quickly clear okay now you see this question exactly the same thing but we'll invert the tube and I want you to do, do this. The tube is inverted with open end, right? And here we have a mercury column trapped. This is a mercury column trapped here. And this is 10 centimeter of height, the mercury column. Here we have gas. Find out the pressure of gas equals to what? This is the gas present here. Tell me the answer. Is it 61? <clears throat> okay, so just we need to balance the pressure here. So pressure of gas in downward direction Right, pressure of this mercury column in downward direction. And we have atmospheric pressure in upward direction. PATM. So here the relation would be what? Pressure of gas plus pressure of Hg is equals to the pressure of atmospheric. Right, so pressure of gas equals to Atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeter minus the pressure of Hg column is 10. So it is 66 centimeter of Hg. Yes. What is wrong, Pradyum?
Okay. Understood all of you guys? Okay. Sometimes what happens, the third type of question is, sometimes what happens here, they won't give you mercury over here, but they will give you the different liquid with their density. So you see this. We have a mercury column and here we have some liquid present. Okay. Here we have the pressure of gas, some liquid present here and from the top we have atmospheric pressure, PATM. For this liquid, it is not mercury and the density is of this liquid is given, rho is equals to 6.8 gram per ml. Okay. H height is given 30 centimeter. Right. Obviously, when rho is this, it is not density because the density of mercury is 13.6 gram per ml. Okay. Could you find out the pressure of gas? Anybody got the answer? Yeah, that's right, Pradyun. See, the best way to do this kind of question is the given height of this liquid you find out if this liquid is if this liquid is mercury then what should be the height of the mercury column so that the both liquid mercury and this given one exerts the same pressure so basically what point i'm trying to make that this height you convert into the height of mercury column correspondingly right so if i take the Pressure, if you equate pressure of Hg column equals to the pressure of this liquid column, then what we can write here? Formula I've given you already. Rho of Hg into this height, we do not know. Why, what height of this mercury column equals to, uh, exerts the same pressure which this liquid exerts with 30 centimeter of height. Into G is equals to the pressure of liquid is again rho into g into the height here. 
So what is the height of the mercury column here? H of Hg is equal to density of, uh, you know, liquid is 6.8 given. H is 30 centimeter divided by 13.6 is the density of mercury. This we are getting 15 centimeter. Fifteen centimeter height of the mercury means this thirty centimeter height. If you replace by fifteen centimeter of mercury, you will have the same pressure here. Correct. Now you see again we'll balance the pressure. So P atm is equals to the pressure because of the mercury column is equals to the pressure of the gas. Right. Seventy six plus fifteen is equals to the pressure of the gas, hence the pressure of the gas is 91 centimeter of Hg. No doubt. Yes. Tell me guys, no doubt in this. Try this question. This is the pressure of gas, atmospheric pressure, and we have multiple liquids with different, different densities. Suppose the height is L1, L2, and L3. Okay, density for the top one is given, row one. 3.4 gram per ml. Row 2 is given 6.8 and row 3 is 27.2. Okay, height is also given 80 centimeter. 20 centimeter and this one is 50 centimeter. Find out the pressure of the gas.
One second, Otto. Yeah, that's right. Two zero six. Just few more minutes. We'll finishing it off. Okay, we are done with this chapter. One, two more type. I'll show you, and then finish. So we need to for all these liquid, we need to find out the corresponding height of mercury column. Correct. So for the first set of data. The height of mercury column H of Hg equals to density into its height that is 80 divided by the density of mercury which is 13.6 20 centimeter. For the second set of data H of Hg should be 6.8 into 20 divided by 13.6 it is 10 centimeter of mercury column. H of Hg for the third set of data is 27.2 into 50 divided by 13.6, that is 100 centimeter, right? Now we'll apply the, uh, we'll do the pressure balance here. So we can say the pressure of gas equals to the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure of the mercury column, total pressure. Atmospheric pressure is 76, 100 plus 20 plus 10, right? So it is 206 centimeter of it. Okay, this one you try. We have a container, an open tube present like this over the container. Two gases we have here. One gas present here and another one is here. Two gases we have. Right, G1 and G2. We need to find out the pressure of the gas one and the pressure of the gas two. This height of the mercury column, it is 10 centimeter, Hg it is. Okay, 
So you see here what we need to do. Here the pressure is the atmospheric pressure, PATM. And at the same level, the pressure of this gas <clears throat> in downward direction, it's same as <clears throat> the pressure over here, atmospheric pressure. Okay. So what we can write here, the pressure of gas two, because it here it is here, the same pressure of this gas we have, that is the pressure of atmosphere, it is P atmospheric, and that is 76 centimeter of it. Okay. So pressure of gas is 76 centimeter. Further, we can write PG2 is there in the upward direction because the collision is in this direction. So PG2 is equals to PG1, the gas pressure in this direction, plus the height of the mercury column, which is 10. So PG1 is equals to 76 minus 10, is equals to 66 centimeter of Hg. Clear? Sometimes they also give this tube, inclined tube they may also give you. One last question in this type. Suppose the tube is given like this. It is inclined at an angle. And a gas trapped here. Liquid trapped here. This height is H. It is given. This height is H. And H is equals to, we have 10 centimeter we have here given. The pressure of gas is this, P of gas. Atmospheric pressure is this. Right. And this is mercury. This is Hg. Find out the pressure of the gas. Inclined column. See, what we write here, the pressure of atmospheric plus the pressure of Hg column is equals to the pressure of the gas. Right, so this height, if you see, the height that it comes down, or the angle I haven't given, I'm sorry. This angle is given here, it is 60 degrees. Okay, so the height that comes down here, this height is, is H sine 60. Okay, so atmospheric pressure, Hg, pressure of gas, atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeter. This is 10 sine 60 is equals to the pressure of the gas and hence the answer is 76 plus 76 plus 5 root 3 centimeter of Hg. This is the answer here. Clear? Understood this? No doubt?
फाइव सो फाइव मो मिनट्स आई विल टेक हियर वन लास्ट कॉन्सेप्ट हियर दैट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पेलोड ओके मैक्स टू मैक्स फाइव मिनट्स ओके वेरी स्मॉल थिंग वॉट इज पेलोड राइट डाउन पेलोड इज द एक्स्ट्रा वेट payload is the extra weight that we can put that we can put on balloon on balloon so that so that it can effectively fly the last this question is and just calculate the payload directly okay so if you see the balloon if you have right so we here we have because of the air we have force of buoyancy in upward direction weight of balloon in downward direction wb is the weight of balloon right plus the balloon is filled so we have weight of gas also here whatever gas is present plus the payload that we put the weight of that payload wb is the weight of balloon weight of gas with which the balloon is filled this is the payload and buoyancy force in upward direction right so because of this the weight of air displaces okay air displaces equals to the weight of balloon plus the weight of gas plus the weight of the payload that we have in the balloon equal amount of weight of air will get displaced right so weight of balloon will be given in the question right always wb will be given we need to find out this payload right this is the objective we need to find out this weight of balloon will be given in the question directly or indirectly it will be given right what is the weight of the gas for weight of the gas we can apply pv is equals to nrt for the gas whatever gas we have so from here we can find out the weight of the gas that would be pv into m by rt molar mass of the gas with this formula we can find out the weight of the gas okay what is the weight of air displaced displaced equals to the density of air into the volume of air right so with this formula we can find out the weight of air displaced so you have weight of air you have weight of balloon weight of gas also you can find out with this and then we can find out the payload one last thing here that the weight of air, the volume of air equals to the volume of balloon
Copy it all, so tell me. Yeah, correct. So this is it for this chapter. Okay, we have discussed everything given in the chapter. So we are going to start the next chapter. Okay, so tell me what all chapter they have done in the school.